It's rather shocking and alarming and baffling how the feckless media jumped all over the bogus Durham report and reported it as fact, ignoring all the other overwhelming evidence of Trump's collusion. Let's remember, though the Mueller report was treated as an overhyped debacle and the Senate Intelligence Committee report was headed by a Republican, they both provided ample evidence that Russia helped the 2016 Trump campaign. And in fact, for all of you amnesiacs out there, there were three dozen indictments, seven guilty pleas, and one trial conviction. And remember, Mueller was barred by bar from indicting Trump himself. Too bad, because now we're supposed to think it was all a hoax. Yes, Trump sidestepped it, so did Nixon. But in both cases, their underlings took the fall. Durham blames the FBI. And you know what? He might have a point there. It might be time to disband the FBI. They outlived their usefulness when they got Al Capone. Since then, what have they done? Murdered John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King. And in another video, I'll show you why they tried to kill George Wallace and Larry Flint and assassinated John Lennon too. But that's for another day. The FBI's corrupt, biased fuck-ups don't change the reality that even Durham acknowledges the Trump campaign and the Russians conspired to fix the 2016 election. And maybe that's why he won despite losing by 3 million votes. Maybe the Democrats should have shouted stop the steal in 2016. Imagine if Trump had won by 3 million votes and lost the Electoral College. You know, maybe this is good. We tend to ignore our own history. We don't want to dig too deeply into the real story of the country. Maybe this will force the rest of the facts about the very real Russian collusion, the ones suppressed by Barr, to finally come to the surface. Remember, the Durham report is not a report. It's not a document. It's not a fact-finding, evidence-based argument. It's a weapon, a mindless weapon, no different than an empty gun. And trust me, the Republicans are going to load this motherfucker and start shooting. We will look back on the Trump era as either the moment we got smart or the moment we got really, really dumb and let this whole thing slip and slide into fascism. It's weird and sad when you think about it that neoliberalism is what's keeping us from fascism. There's got to be a better way. We know Trump's a criminal. We know he's a rapist, but believe me, history will eventually bear out that Trump is a traitor. You know who knows it wasn't a hoax? You and me, the Republicans who covered it up, Paul Manafort, who went to prison for it, and yes, of course, Trump, the human hoax. He knows too.